Well, it's another exciting day on the Paint People channel. We feel privileged to be able to feature some awesome paint products, and today is no exception. This one really intends to break through the competition. I really need to stop these silly puns. We're putting the spotlight on a PPG product called Breakthrough. We'll go over some of the pros and cons of it to help you make the best possible decision when picking a paint. I'm James from thepaintpeople.com, and I hope to provide you with an overview on the many products that I've used over my years of experience. As part of my family painting business, which has been operating close to 40 years now, we've tried practically every single product under the sun. The term waterborne gets thrown around a lot, especially with paint. And if you're not a major paint nerd like myself, you may not be totally familiar with what it means. Without going into too much detail, in regards to paint specifically, it means the product uses water as a solvent to disperse the resin added to it to create the coating. Waterborne paints are usually environmentally friendly and rely on evaporation to dry the surface. That being said, there are some waterborne products that behave much like standard water-based paints, but others that possess more alkyd or oil-based paint qualities. Pittsburgh's Breakthrough is probably as close as I have found to a true hybrid. It's an interior and exterior product that's available in two finishes, satin and gloss. All around, we're talking about a water-based product here that dries in an hour, but also has high durability, capable of taking foot traffic, and even bonds to fiberglass. It's truly unique, and I can't wait to get into some pros. Excellent durability. This is definitely one of the tougher water-based paints on the market. It's often spoken of as an excellent trim paint, but it's also great for cabinets, shelving, even concrete floors. Not many products are slated to withstand foot traffic and breakthrough can in some cases. It's also ideal for areas requiring frequent cleaning with mild household cleaners or light duty industrial cleaners. Incredible adhesion. While it's good practice to prime a surface prior to painting, there are several difficult substrates that Breakthrough can be painted straight onto. Painting fiberglass, ceramic tile, or laminate? Guess what? No primer needed in these cases. While you still want to make sure the surface is clean and smooth prior to painting, maybe a bit of spot priming in some cases, Breakthrough will adhere to these specific surfaces without the use of a primer. Fast drying time. You would expect a product with these properties would take a while to dry, but it doesn't. One of Breakthrough's water-based qualities is its one hour drying time. More specifically, it'll be dry to the touch in 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the temperature and the moisture levels of the surrounding area. You can recoat after two hours, walk over it after 12, and drive a forklift over it after 24 hours. Unlike other paints that take about a month to cure, Breakthrough's stated curing time is a swift seven days, meaning the overall turnaround is super fast. There's seemingly not a lot to complain about here, but knowing us, we had to gather up some cons. Prone to roping. If you don't know what roping is, it's essentially those visible brush marks that you can sometimes see after applying a paint. One of the biggest culprits of this is the fast drying time of the product. The open time is pretty short, which means the painter needs to know what they're doing when applying the paint. This is why some people still prefer to use oil or at least alkyd hybrid products when painting more detailed trim or cabinets. It allows the paint to be reworked for longer and it can also level out a bit more after that long drying time. Now because of this, Breakthrough is very, very popular with airless sprayers. You're obviously not gonna have any brush mark issues if you're spraying it on. So that's something to consider as well. Limited finishes. Now this is a two-pronged issue because the first one is that there are only two finishes. You have satin or you have gloss. This means there's less flexibility on the sheen, which sort of speaks to Breakthrough's emphasis on being a functional product rather than worrying about aesthetics. I've also noticed that the satin finish specifically is actually a bit closer to what I know as an eggshell finish. Now this is not necessarily PPG's fault as there is not really an industry standard about what exact percentage a satin finish should be sheen wise. But if you're expecting the satin to be very shiny, 
it appears less like a semi-gloss and more close to a pearl or even that eggshell finish that I mentioned. More information on finishes in our Paint School episode all about sheens, which you can check out afterwards. Reformulation concerns. Before I get into this last one, I just wanna say that it is largely based on information that I've heard from other painters, but I felt it was worth mentioning anyway. Depending on where you are location-wise and what store you use, you may be getting a different formulation of Breakthrough that could have a slightly different composition. If you look at the product code on the bottom of the label and see a V50, that is going to be the 250 VOC version of the product. Now this specific version is unanimously praised as a paint product. But if the product code is something like V51 or V56, then that is likely to be a lower VOC formulation. Although this is completely anecdotal, the lower VOC version has been said to have some coverage issues, but from what I understand, most of the other aspects of the product still hold true. You'll still get that epic durability and adhesion. Your results may vary. There are so many variables when it comes to painting, so please, please take all of this with a grain of salt. This channel is all about presenting our experience to you. So hopefully you got something out of this video. If you have any other questions, the team at The Paint People will be glad to answer them down in the comment section below. That's it for this spotlight on PPG's Breakthrough. See you on the next one.